everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. All right, so we've got round one of Danny Moonstar and Star Lord, but really it's all about that Danny Moonstar. So let me tell you guys something. When I put up my prediction, I predicted around 110, and I was thinking that she would go a little bit lower than that. I didn't know that she had such high prestige. That makes a big difference, okay? I hope no one uh, went for the score that I was recommending and missed out because I feel really bad, but I don't recommend going for uh, six-star champions round one if you can help it. Now, some people can't help it. This is the time they have available. Um, so I was going for the five-star, okay? And I was in uh, Dementia Dreaming's stream. He's another YouTuber. Go check him out if you haven't. And I saw him. He had a high score. He was he was like a hundred and um, eighty something million. And I'm like, what? And then some people in the chat were talking about two hundred plus million they were putting up. And I'm like, huh? That's crazy. Why are people putting up such a high score? I didn't hear a lot of hype around her, you know. And then someone in the chat was like, wait a minute, I think it was Parasite, um, told me that she's like fourth ranked in prestige. I'm like, oh, I did not know that. For a prestige champion like that? Yeah, I knew she was going to go up. My prediction would have then been around uh, 180 instead, uh, just because of the prestige. Now, I do know that two of my... Uh, arena, no, my arena, my alliance mates got the champion. And I'll be able to tell you what one of them put up uh, because he put it in the chat. Uh, but I'm hoping, hoping, just just like a few minutes ago before I went live, wish you luck, um, also got the champion and told me what he put up. So I'll be able to tell you guys that as well. All right, but it looks like Danny Moonstar is desired. All right, let's uh go to the arena. And I got I started getting nervous. I'll tell you that. Um when I started hearing all those scores because I'm thinking I went nice and high like I normally do for the five star, but maybe she's going to go even higher as a five star. So let's see. All right. So I got the five star. You'll see what I put up over there. Let's go to um, Star Lord first. Now, Star Lord, uh, my prediction stays the same. I think he'll go for around 30 mil. He's an old champion. Most people already have him. He's useless, really, without being awakened, just like Aegon. But unlike Aegon, I think he is not all that great anymore once Aegon came into the contest. Aegon is basically a better Star-Lord. He's the better version. He's, he's Star-Lord 2.0, 3.0, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, there's, there's nothing that I can think of unless very specific nodes where I would use Star-Lord over Aegon. I, I, it, it would have to be some nodes. Oh, there we go. So Parasite, rank 50. Congratulations for that Star-Lord. Um, I forgot. What did he say? What did you say you put up? Hold on. Let me see. I still have the uh, chat up here. So I don't know. Let me see. Da -da -da -da. Can't remember. Yep, you said you always go rank uh, round two for the uh, featured, which is pretty much what I always recommend because I'm not trying to uh, grind and miss. Okay, I'm not seeing it. So you can leave a comment and uh, if you see this and, and let us know what score 
uh, for the basic got you that um, Star Lord at 50, rank 50. But it, it's bound to be pretty low. I, I know it's pretty low. All right. Uh, let's see who else we got. I remember when Star Lord was the goat, especially for Labyrinth of Legends. If you had a Star Lord, that was what was going to take you through Labyrinth of Legends. You were going to spend way less uh, to get through Labyrinth of Legends. And I could not get him. Then I got him, but I couldn't dupe him. And at that time, there were not, you know, easy ways to dupe your champion. You know, you didn't have, uh, you know, like right now I have like five six-star Awakening Gems. I didn't have even one generic Awakening five-star. And, you know, keep in mind, we're talking about five-star Star-Lord. OK. And I went through with a Spider-Man Stark enhanced. Very expensive, cost me like 20,000 units because I kept healing him up and I wanted to get it all done in like a week, which I did. Fully explored the whole thing. The first one didn't take me any units at all. I think I had five uh Five, re well, no, not five, uh, 12 revives, something like that. It's on the channel, Um, my first run. But after that, you know, there were a lot of uh, fights that he just couldn't do or that would have been prohibitively expensive to do. You know, um, he didn't have any immunities, and there were some nodes where you got to bleed that did 100% damage, you know, 100% of your health over time. So basically, don't go in there with anybody that's not bleed immune or could shrug it off or something. Um, but for the majority of the fights, he was good. Star-Lord could get the fights down quickly once he got ramped up. The thing that I did not like about Star-Lord is that you could lose your combo and then that was it. Your damage was gone and you had to restart all over. You ramped up. This is why I said I hate ramp up champions. You know, these are the ramp up champions that I had early on. Okay. So you would go through and then when you went to the next fight, you had to start all over again. He didn't keep that that ramped up state in the next fight. So you had to do that every single fight, ramp up every fight, hated that. Not only that, but at the time, um, I didn't know of any combo protectors, no combo protectors. So one little mistake, you get tapped, there's your combo gone. You could spend you know, half the fight building your combo up and now you're about to do some crazy damage and yeah. And then you go in, he parries you and goes pop and you're done. And you got to start all over from scratch. Way too frustrating. Hate him. Don't like him to this day. Even though now he does have some synergies, I believe, that can protect his combo. But Aegon came in. Aegon, as I said, is a better Star-Lord. And he keeps his combo from fight to fight and he builds up and once you have him built up he stays built up not only that but he can maintain the combo after he dies so what i mean is in the fight you build up say a 50 uh hit combo you can quit the fight and you see you keep your 50 hit combo and go back into the same fight with a 50 hit combo that you're not going to lose. Basically, you bank it, save it, and you have it for the rest of the quest. If he dies, it doesn't matter. Okay? I 
Love that. I have used Aegon in several places where I'll just revive. I'll build up the combo. Sometimes I'll bring in um, Proxima Midnight. That synergy uh, will keep the combo at least for um, one good combo. So what can happen is you build up, say you built up 100 combo and you messed up and they give you a full five hit combo to the face, right? With uh, Proxima Midnight, you're not going to lose your combo. You can pause it, quit the fight, bank it, go back in, okay? Much, much better than Star-Lord. But people still want him. Uh, so congratulations to everybody that, that uh, got him. He's still going to be good for Arena, at the very least. Um, so, yeah. All right. Now, Danny Moonstar. There it is. Now, let's see who got this one. A lot of people were after this, but I only know, I know two who got it. And Dementia Dreaming, I know he was going for it, but I do not know if he got it, but I'm pretty sure he did. Um, because someone else told me what score they had, and they got it, and it was less than what he put up. So, Laser John, congratulations. Right. And it actually wasn't that high. I could do it without units. But there we go. So Saj or Sage, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Congratulations. 50. He put up 200 million. And you see he ranked 50 at 200 million. Okay. Let's see. Toothless horse. That's what I feel like after I just had my tooth pulled. Hey, it's Kevin. <laughs> Congratulations, man. There we go. Dementia Dreaming. Now, see, Dementia Dreaming, I think he ended at um, around 190 million. And he got 68. Top 100. So that should tell you guys something. I wasn't actually that far off with my prediction, but I would have predicted higher had I known that um, she had such a high prestige. But I'll give you what my um, guess is for the cutoff based on the lowest cutoff that I heard. Max, congratulations, man. Aren't you happy that it's now top 400? 106. Woo! -woo. I know you happy, boy. All right. Let's see who else. There we go. Wish you luck. 124. And he told me he put up 100. Let me see. 169.5 million. Okay. 169.5 0.5 million and he's at 124 remember this is top 400 an angry elephant you ain't angry today aditya <laughs> congratulations let's see maestro nebuchadnezzar Yankee for life. Congratulations. That's the other Alliance member who got the uh, champion. They posted it up. Now, whereas Saj told us he put up 200 million, we don't know what uh, Yankee for life put up. But I know that it's less than 169 million. Thanks to uh, Wish You Luck. Baba Yaga. <laughs> Violent Korean. Mm. I've been watching a lot of uh, uh, true crime uh, stories. Um, Rotten Mango, uh, she's done a lot of different Korean uh, crimes that you don't really hear a lot about here. Wow. Things are rough, let me tell you. 
Okay, so. Seeing is a wish you luck, put up 169. And remember, I said that I would uh, predict like 180 uh, had I known the uh, prestige. But look at this. We've got 200 more spaces. So I'm thinking, you know, I said like 110. I don't know if 110 might be uh, uh, very close to the cutoff. But that was my prediction. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe 130, 140 would uh, be the cutoff uh, for her. So not not that uh, not that far, not that far at all. Um, this score I put up casually, uh, no boosting, no units, no nothing, no refreshing, and I didn't even use my five stars. I did not go all, I didn't even use all of my six stars. I went for battle chips. Um, I was pretty sure that I had the five star. Um, and I think the five star went even lower, like like maybe 40 or 50 million. Uh, but I wanted to just be sure, you know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go for the champion uh, round two, though. I just, she's going to come in as a seven star. Some people already have the seven star, in fact. So I don't know if I want to grind uh, for the, the six star, to be honest with you. I don't know. Um, I'm fairly certain. I'm like 99% sure I'm not going for the six star. Uh, now, when, the, uh, when she comes around to the basic, maybe. Or maybe I'll open up some uh, crystals and, and get her out of those. I, I really don't know at this point. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like really grinding hard. Now, I don't know just what I did here. If I boosted, I may be able to get the uh, six star. <laughs> Guys, I just thought about looking at the uh, rewards, look at this, 438 is what I got. So 93 million got 438, very, very, very close. So yeah, I think my 110 uh, prediction might actually be uh, near the cutoff. Woo, -hoo! so close. Tempting, but I'm not gonna do it. Just doing this, which was not difficult at all, you know, I, I basically did not even run my my um, rank ones at all. I only ran uh, rank three, four, and five. That's it. Uh, and of course, my seven stars when they were uh, available, and that was it, really. So boosting, if I can, and I have plenty of boosts, I could, but I don't know. I don't think I want to do it. I just may wait until the uh, basic, and then if I don't have her by then. Now, the champ I will be grinding for uh, when he comes around will be Wolverine, because I haven't gotten him out of a crystal yet. So I will definitely be going for Wolverine. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.